What's up guys, it's Darius, and today I wanted to go over some quick news regarding Destiny 2. In today's news, we have some new merch that has popped up on the GameStop online store for Destiny 2, and that is three hats and three keychains for what seems to be three respective classes we have in Destiny at the moment. Now, looking at these six pieces of merchandise, people in the community have started to speculate whether or not we can grab any info from these pieces of apparel. More so the fact that these may be pointing to a new subclass we could be getting for each class in the game. Thinking maybe that these animals, a lion, a snake, and a hawk, phoenix, bird, thingy, whatever that is, could be new subclasses for the Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. This is mainly headed by a Reddit post that was a leak of info supposedly posted by a Bungie employee on Reddit spilling some supposed details about Destiny 2. In that post, which you can see on screen right now, he mentions that we'd be getting a pet subclass that includes one for the Titans with a Lynx companion, a Hunter subclass with a large slinking reptile, and a Warlock subclass with an alien raven type flying creature. Now we should take this with a grain of salt as with all leaks, especially since in this post he also mentions a release date for Christmas, so the credibility might be a little bit, you know, shaky. My take on this is that these are not symbols for a new subclass at all. My main point for this line of thinking this about this leak is because if you take a look at the initial Destiny 2 promo art, you can see part of at least two of these animalic symbols on the Guardians. Looking here, you can see the exact same line on the Titan chest plate, and looking here, you can see part of the bird symbol on the collar of the Warlock. I think these symbols mainly are just an attempt by Bungie to further characterize and make the classes of Destiny a little bit more unique by associating them with certain animals we have in our world and how they behave. And they all make sense. Lions are very prominently by example showing power to protect all they have. Same could be said about the Titan. Snakes are very deceiving and are slick about the way they move about at the same time can be devastating in combat, especially when they wait for the right time to strike. The same could be said about hunters. And hawks or phoenixes while graceful while in flight, they also use that flight and state of being at a higher plane to strengthen their knowledge about the situation and the situation they're about to get themselves into, and then using that knowledge and height to make their attacks on their prey much more devastating. You could attribute some of that to the Warlock class as well. In my opinion, it's very clear that Bungie just wants to add even more identity to the classes. Plus, I don't think they would reveal subclasses before at least May 18th, which is when the gameplay reveal is. But who knows, GameStop did take down the listing for these products. Maybe there could be more to these symbols than just characterization and uniqueness. Now well, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And news that it brought regarding Destiny 2. If you did, leave a like and a comment telling me what you think these symbols are. Do you agree with me that they're just for ID purposes for each class, or is there more to them? Please hit that sub button for more Destiny 2 vids coming in the near future, and hit that bell next to the sub button so you don't miss any uploads. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.